back to my channel. My name is Natalie if you are new to my channel, so welcome back. Today I am filming the Power of Makeup, which was originally inspired by Nikki Tutorials. Her video was absolutely mind-blowing, so I'll link her video down below so you can check that out. Pretty much what this video is about is me doing one half of my face full glam and the other half of my face leaving it completely bare. The message this video is sending is everyone takes makeup way too seriously. Like, makeup has no rules, you can do what you want with your face, do what you want with your makeup, go as out there as you want or as minimal as you like. We want to love ourselves when we're full glam or when we have nothing on. So that's the message that this video is trying to send. So if you'd like to see how I interpret this video, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start by moisturising half my face with the Simple Kind to Skin Replenishing Rich Moisturiser. So I've got to learn that I don't need much because I'm only doing half my face. So I'm actually going to start with my eyes first and prime my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot just so our products go smooth, nice and smooth and blend easily over our eyelids. Bring it out with my ring finger. So I'm setting that Soft Ochre Paint Pot in place with the Morphe 35O palette just with this shade up here, it's pretty much the same colour as the paint pot. Just while eyeshadows don't get stuck to his face. So the first shade I'm using in my crease, I'm going to use this orange shade right here. And I'm using a Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush just to blow that out into the crease. Next on a slightly smaller blending brush, I'm going to go in with this orange shave right up in the top corner and just pop that more precisely into the crease. Just keep going back in with that other blending brush we were using before just to blend those colours out so there are no hard lines. I'm going back in with that smaller brush and that bright orange and just building up the intensity of that crease colour. Now going with a little bit of a bigger brush but still fluffy, I'm going in with this shade down here. It's like a, a dark burgundy kind of colour and I'm just going to pop that on our outer V just to deepen up the whole look. And just like slightly drag that into the crease just a little bit. And grab that first brush. <laughs> That first brush we were using before just to blend all those together. I'm actually going to grab a bit of that bright orange colour on this brush and pop that in just so we can liven this up a little. Now for our lid shade where we haven't popped any shadows, I'm going to grab this really like rose goldy shimmer shade right here on a Sigma eye shading E55 brush. I'm actually going to grab some MAC Fix Plus Spray and saturate our brush. 
so that colour is as intense as it can be and pop that directly on our lid. Now grabbing a makeup wipe, I'm just going to clean up that eyeshadow just so we have a nice clean line. For foundation, I'm going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Tawny. And I'm going to pop that all over the one side of my face that we are doing using my Real Techniques sponge damp and I'm just going to pop that all over my face pop pop this foundation is really full coverage so it's good to cover up any acne scarring or discoloration in my face so that's why I like using full coverage foundation Always blend it down the neck just so it matches the rest of the face. Makeup concealer, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 1 Custard in highlighting under the one eye. Half my chin. Now to bake under my eyes, I'm using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder with one of these little like wedge sponges. These are so cheap. You can pick them up for like $3 for a bag of like 50 or something like that. Like absolutely ridiculous. You get them everywhere. I'm just grabbing that powder and I'm just going to bake under my eyes just so that our concealer is not going to budge. While that's baking, I'm going to fill in my brows with my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Talk. The brush I like using for this is actually the Napoleon Purtis Brow Tox Grooming Brush. And I'm just going to start filling in my brows. to set my one brow in place with the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Gel in 01 Blonde. So then I'm going to set the rest of my face with that same translucent powder that I baked under my eyes with and just dust that. So to contour today, I'm going to use my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Sole Bronzer, which looks like this. It's just a powder slash blush brush. And I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. Mm. Instead, I'm going to use my NYC Smooth Skin bronzing face powder in this shade Sunny and just do the same thing, hopefully this smells more I don't know if this will do much but I'm going to contour the one side of my nose So for blush, I'm going to use my Manolo. 
Malai Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, which is one of my favourite blushes ever. And I was taking that on a Sigma Large Ankle and Ankle Angled Contour Brush and just popping it on the cheeks. Cheek, cheek. And for highlighter, we are going to use my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter and highlight the crap out of the one side of my face. To finish off our eyes, we're going back with that Morphe 35O palette. I'm going in with the first colour we used, which was this orange shade just there and I'm going to pop that on my lower lash line. With that same brush I'm going back in with the bright orange shade that we used up here and popping that under as well. And then back in with that darker burgundy shade with a pencil brush. I'm just going to concentrate that more on the lash line. And to highlight the inner corner, I'm going in with a clean pencil brush with that same lid shade that we used before here and highlight our inner corner. To coat our lashes in mascara, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Sumptuous, Ex Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. I'm going to pop that on my lashes. Falsies, I'm going to be using the Eye Lua Lashes in the number 121. These are the definition lashes. To finish off the look, I'm going in with the Too Faced, this is called Perfect Lips Lip Liner in the shade Perfect Nude. I'm lining our lips. Lipstick. I'm going to be using the Rimmel um, Moisture New Lipstick in the shade 720. And that is the completed look. So I hope you liked the way I interpreted this video and learnt something along the way. So this is the makeup side and this is the completely bare makeup side of it. So if you liked this video please give me a huge thumbs up as it helps me out a lot and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see some more videos. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!